Jenkin, Lee, and Fontaine execute their plan using the wooden keys. They gather tools hidden in various areas and change into street clothes. They leave the prison and find a taxi to take them out of Pretoria. Welcome back to Movie Plots. Today we are going to watch and listen, a 2020 Australian thriller film called Escape from Pretoria, co-written and directed by Francis Annan. It is based on the real-life prison escape by three political prisoners in South Africa in 1979, starring Daniel Radcliffe and Daniel Weber. In 1979, Tim Jenkin and Stephen Lee are two white South Africans carrying out anti-apartheid missions in South Africa. They are arrested and prosecuted. Jenkin is sentenced to 12 years and Lee is sentenced to 8. At the courthouse, Lee attempts to escape but to no avail. Transported to Pretoria Prison, they meet Dennis Goldberg, an older political prisoner serving four life sentences for previous work against apartheid. He shows them the ropes but discourages them from trying to escape. Jenkin and Lee discuss escaping with another prisoner, Leonard Fontaine. They settle in and go about their daily routines, but Jenkin starts to analyze the prison and think of ways to escape. He steals items from the woodshop to make wooden keys that fit the locks to their cells. He sneaks around the prison at night, making keys for other locks. Lee and Jenkin bury these keys in the prison garden, while tending it and make many other preparations for their escape. Fontaine and Jenkin do a test run by using keys to leave their cells. They hide in a closet as the night guard walks by. They use another key to leave the cell block. The guards search everyone's cells the next day but fail to find anything. Later, Jenkin discovers that a new gun tower is being built. He, Fontaine and Lee present their plan to Goldberg and other prisoners who decide against trying to escape with them. Jenkin, Lee and Fontaine execute their plan using the wooden keys. They gather tools hidden in various areas and change into street clothes. Once again, they hide in the closet to evade the night guard. Goldberg short-circuits the light in his cell, causing the electricity to go out, and calls for the guard, distracting him so that the trio can reach the last door. They cannot get any of the keys to work on this door, but Fontaine breaks it open using a chisel and screwdriver. They leave the prison and find a taxi to take them out of Pretoria. We learn that they reached London by way of Mozambique and Tanzania, that they continued to fight apartheid, and that Goldberg was finally freed in 1985. The movie ends here. Thank you for listening. Kindly like and subscribe for more videos like this. And tell me on what movies would you like me to make summaries on in the comments section below. Until then, stay healthy and blessed.